Once you've installed Studio One and downloaded all of the included content, you can start a new song. There's two types of files you can create in Studio One, song files and project files. Song files are the typical session project files that you'd see in most DAWs. These allow you to record audio, use MIDI, software instruments, edit audio, edit MIDI, and add effects plugins. So pretty much everything you need to record, edit, and mix your song. Project files are used exclusively for mastering. These are for taking multiple songs and mastering them together as a project, like an album or an EP. In this course, we're only going to be using song files. So before I create my new song, I wanna point out that you can set up your audio playback and recording device by clicking here. I'll go over audio setup in the next video and I'll show you another location where you can set this up once you've already created your song. So I'll skip this for now. So I'll click on create a new song and you'll see there's a bunch of different styles or templates here. I'm gonna start from scratch and just click on empty song. Then you can give your song a name here. I'll just call this new song one and you can choose the location of where that song is gonna be stored by clicking here. So I'll put this right on the desktop. You can adjust your sample rate your resolution or bit depth here. Um, these I'm gonna stick with 44.1 and 24 bit for now. I'll discuss that more in the next video. Here you can set your time base. The time base affects how various events in your song are synchronized. If you're working with video, make sure to use frames, but for musical projects, always choose bars so that audio and MIDI events synchronize to musical timings. You can also set a song length, which can be adjusted later. I'll stick with five minutes. And you can also set your tempo. I'll stick with 110 BPM. Here you can set your time signature or meter. I'll stick with 4-4 time. And you can also choose the key of your song. When you click on this, a little circle of fifths pops up. The outer circle is all major keys and the inner circle is all minor keys. Now, if you don't know the key of your song, you can just leave this blank. Um, I know what this key of my song is. It's A flat major, so I'll select this here. Stretch audio files to song tempo automatically stretches or compresses imported audio files so that they synchronize with the song tempo. So I'll keep this on. Play overlaps allows overlapping events or regions to play back even if one event is completely overlapping another. So for now, I'll keep this off. Before I click OK, I wanna mention that all of these parameters can be changed later. So don't worry if you chose the wrong thing here. When I click OK, my main arrangement window pops up. This is called the song page. And this is where we can start recording our song. But we need to set up our audio device for playback and recording so I'll tackle that in the next video.